Hello everybody, I've just got back from the hairdressers so I stopped to make a quick video about eight phrasal verbs and four prepositional verbs for you to use in class. So I've just got back from the hairdressers. What does I've just got back mean? Well, it's a phrasal verb and most phrasal verbs consist of two words, a verb and an adverb, or a verb and a preposition. We won't worry about the phrasal verbs with three words because we're going to think about the verb go, get, and got. So think about your tense for the verb and then think about phrasal verbs or prepositional verbs are different. Make sure you know what they mean to begin with. I've just got back from the hairdressers. Got back. It means returned. I've returned home. So return to a place. Got back. So the adverb is back and the verb comes from to get but I'm using it in the past, so it's got. So the phrasal verb, got back. I've just got back. And if you're using it in the present tense, you might say, when did you get back? So what about get on? Have you heard this phrasal verb? Get on, you might say, I'm getting on or I got on, if you change the tense. I got on well today. So we might ask the question, how did you get on? We might be talking about a person. I got on well with her today. So actually get on or got on is about being friendly together. And if you're thinking about a person you're asking the question, how did you get on? It means, were you friendly together? Get on. What about the next phrase? I think you use this a lot without realising that it's a phrasal verb. Get up. So do mothers or fathers have to say to their children, get up. It's time for school. Well, do you know, I got up early today because I was excited about going to the hairdressers. So the phrasal verb, got up. I got up early. So that's the past tense of to get. And to get up means to stand after lying in bed. So that's why we say get up. Get up out of your bed. So get up early. I got up early yesterday. And what about if it's in the future? I'm getting up early tomorrow. So that's another phrasal verb you might already use. Get up. Oh yes, this one. My hairdresser said to me, you got over your cold quickly. So the phrase got over it means to recover from so it's a prepositional verb got over so the verb got added to the preposition over has a different meaning now it doesn't mean the same as over it's the phrase got over and it means to recover from sometimes if you're writing, you need to think about the fact that prepositional verbs are followed by an object immediately after that preposition. So my hairdresser said, you got over your cold. She didn't say, you got over. That doesn't make sense. I can say, I got up. That makes sense. So make sure you know which prepositional verbs 
can be used without the object and which ones need the object to make sense. Yes, got over the cold, got out of bed, but I can say I got up. I can't say I got over. So got over your cold quickly, my hairdresser said. Got over is the prepositional verb and your cold is the object when you're writing and you're thinking about how the words go together. So at the hairdressers we chat whilst my hairdresser is cutting my hair. Wow, that's great, we said. What about the coronavirus lockdown? So now we're going to look at the phrasal verb go into, go into. So this is a phrase, it's also a preposition, so it's a prepositional phrase. Do you think we will go into another lockdown? So again, we have the verb go plus the preposition into to make the phrase, but you use it together to have meaning and go into means start an activity and it can be something that you've done before. So start an activity, do something again if you say go into. You might hear that a lot when we're talking about lockdown. Do you think we will go into lockdown? Well, what about this one? Look what I got. Now, that doesn't sound grammatically correct unless you have the object that you're talking about. Look what I got is correct. I can't get over it. I got a present. So I'm using got as a verb. Look what I got. I got a present. But when I say I can't get over it, I'm using get over as a phrase together and it means I'm so surprised. Well, let's recap those phrases and don't worry about whether it's a phrasal verb or prepositional verb. Just think it's a verb in a phrase and you need to know what it means. So go into, make sure you know that means start again. Got over, it means to recover. Got over again, recover. If you get over something. Got up, that means to stand from a seated position or maybe stand from lying in your bed. Got on, well, that's if you're being friendly with somebody. And got back, it means to return. So yes, I have got back from the hairdressers and I'm really, really pleased with my haircut and I'm ready now for Christmas so that tomorrow we're back to Advent Christmas Countdown 9. Don't forget these phrasal verbs because I'm going to be asking you in our next course, how do you use them and have you thought about do you use some of them now? Bye now.